morning. So first thing we do is I just step out of the cab. I've just packed another trailer ready. So I'm just gonna walk around the tires, just make sure all the tires are nice and clean. Make sure I've still got every single nut on the tire. Make sure all the spray suspension is nice and tight and nothing's gonna fall off on the way. Make sure my keys are cap is tight, no one's messed with it during the night. To the back of my cab, make sure there's no stowaways, no one's put anything there, and make sure nothing's gonna fall off. So I'm just gonna check this wheel. Check all the nuts, same against the spray, and then I'm gonna put my dog clip on. One of the most important things, because if that fifth wheel gives way, that little chain there is gonna stop it for the trailer from falling off for you. Well, that's that one. And then set these couple buckles up. We've got an empty trailer today, so there's no reason to check if the load's secure. So we're on our way to fetch the load now from Canuck. So just make sure these are nice and tight and the curtain's not gonna flap in the wind for us. Same again, just check the tire. And the back one, because you've already got two tires on each side on the back. Yeah. All the nuts. Make sure your spray station and your lights are nice and clean. So we're just going to check, make sure this light cluster is working. I've got the side lights on and the hazards on. Make sure they're working. Just have a little look around, make sure there's nothing hanging off. Give it a good kick, make sure it's not going to fall off. Make sure the nothing nice tight. Same again, we get to the trailer. We're going to check the, the tires. There's nothing in the tires. No bulges, and then we've got every single nut on again. Give it a little kick, there's definitely air in there. Have you come across many, Andy, when the nuts have been loose? Um, never, personally, never have I had a nut loose on a trailer, personally, but that's exactly what we checked because if I was going on the road and a nut was loose, then it's my fault for not checking on the morning, isn't it? So the Correct. lights are not on the trailer yet because I haven't fitted them. So I'm just going to check, look at the top, make sure there's no dents on the doors, all the doors are intact, the doors are locked, make sure the lights are clean, and the triangle, because the triangle is the only thing that tells us that this is a trailer from behind, and not a rigid. Right. Plate's nice and clean so everyone can see. I'm going to check the ADR board because we are collecting hazardous goods today. Make sure that's nice and clean, there's no damage, it's not hanging off. You can see it's not moving. As we come around this side, do the same again. To make sure the curtain's nice and tight. Nothing loose. All the buckles are done. I'm just going to check each each tire again. All the nuts. Spray suspension. Same again for this one. And this one. So we're we'll walking on here, we're trying to check the curtain, check this is on. Because this is what's going to save someone from running if I try if there was an accident. That's very important. Right, yeah. So if we get to the legs now, we're going to put the legs up all the way to the top. So they can't go up no more. Nice and tight, it's not going to come loose and hit any air cyclists on the way around. So again, we're going to check the side lights, make sure the indicator's working, plate's clean, and light's clean. Don't forget, you've got two tyres this side. Yes. Yeah. Just have a look through, make sure there's definitely air in there. And I've got all my nuts. Clean the light, make sure the light's clean. Same again. And yet again, we check the diesel cap, make sure it's nice and tall, make sure no one's messed with it and no one's uh, stowed anything in there. We're just going to shut these last couple of buckles again. And they're all nice and tall. So now we're going to jump under the catwalk and we're going to connect the ABS line, the electrics, and both the airlines now for we have so we can, the trailer can move. This is one. very, very important, this is. The red one is your emergency airline. So if anything's happening, you've got to hit your brakes. That's what put the air to the trailer, sends, and sends all the brakes working on the unit. That's your two electrics to make sure all your lights are working. This one is your ABS, your anti-braking anti system. 
Okay, make sure the wheels don't lock up. If you just have to hit the brakes hard, loaded or empty. And this is your secondary air now. And they're all connected, nice and tight. They ain't coming loose. So everything's all done there, yeah? Everything is all done now. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go back to the back of the trailer. And make sure me uh, side lights and indicators are working. And this is the thing you have to do for every trailer we swap. Don't matter if you're doing one trailer or ten trailers a day, you have to do these checks. Yeah. Very important. So as you can see, we've got two indicators, side light working. I'm going to know, because I have got a colleague with me, I'm going to ask you for, if that's okay, to test my base brake loads, if that's okay? Correct. Fire away. Yeah, they're not good, Andy, yep. Yeah. Yeah. To make sure they won't get stuck there and we're trying to pull a dead weight. Obviously we have had, we have had that happen to us in the past with a few drivers. So as I'm around the front now, I'm just to make sure I've got side light, side light, side light, side light. I mean we have got some posh lights on this one as well. Extra side lights. But as long as your your mandatory ones are working, so you've got that one, that one, your indicators and your two at the top. We are good to go. And as you get in the cab, there's just a couple more checks to do to pull sign off. Yeah. Get on the road. Great. So we're in the truck now. Uh, these are our defect books. Everything in there, including ADR checklists, are in there. Um, so as I'm going through these, I'll make sure they're all ticked off. I'll make sure no oil leaks, all the lights are working, no damage. And I've just got to do one more check after this and check that my ADR kit is all uh, intact and in order, which we have been checking every day. Very important in all your ADR values, isn't it? Very important. I'm going to check our mileage. And as you can see, the wipers are already going, so we know the wipers are working. We've got our internal mirrors, check those. We'll make sure all our mirrors are clean. Make sure we can see everything, there's nothing blocking our view. We'll put these up as we're driving to make sure, but they are there to protect us from the sun as well. Now on a check, you are supposed to press your own, but as we're on a, on a residential area, I won't press it until we get to the uh, main road there, and we'll just let the, the cars know how our own works. Well, we don't get no rain today. It's absolutely fantastic. It's I reckon it's going to be 32 degrees later on. It's like being in Spain. <laughs> now, just run it through me, Andy. Obviously, when you swap a trailer, yes. do you have to do any more fill-outs? Every time we swap a trailer, we have to get a new page in our defect book. So I'll just fill this one out now for our truck and, tra and trailer. Then, so we'd have another another sheet, and yet again we'd fill it. And you'd check the truck exactly the same as you, you've checked it this morning, because you could have stopped for a break, anything could have happened. Yeah. You could have had to hit your brakes, and maybe you, you've rubbed one of your tyres away, maybe you've got a punch on the road. So you have to check as many times as you can, especially before pulling off and going on a long journey. Right, yeah. As our oil and our water on this is all electric, so we check all that on the dashboard these days. So as you can see, we've got our blue, our temperature gauge is not up yet, because I've got the engine on. We've got half a tank and our oil lights on, so we know all that is so safe and sound. We know our axles up, because we're empty, and our axles should be up, because you don't want to be driving around wasting tyres. Wasting and all that's left is now is to sort our air. We've had 18 minutes work, which is, as long as 15, gives you a good, good enough time now to uh, check your trailer, check your truck, make sure you're all ready to go, make sure everything's ready, and you're going. So 15 minutes to 20 minutes is about right for an Arctic. Rigid's a little bit quicker. Yeah. So we're all ready. So our wipers off. We'll just check the water's working. Yeah. Superb. Important seat belt. Make sure you're comfy, steering well, nice grip. You can see. 
and off we go.